All right, so back to this. Um, figured I'd make this video now. I still need to go explore kind of the potential of a third path, as well as, you know, kind of go find those other two Steam achievements that I haven't unlocked. However, you know, I felt like I've reached a point to where I can make this video, right? As, uh, again, you know, again, just on the game itself and probably what you've heard so many other people talk about, um, again, the big thing being that, uh, in how I learned of this game and got into it to begin with, right, is the, uh, again, you know, the, uh, very questionable themes it touches upon, uh, again, you know, cultism, cannibalism, incest, right, yada, yada, yada. Um, so again, that's kind of what this video is going to go over, my just thoughts and opinions on the game. Um, again, mostly in relation to that, uh, but again, you know, I'm also, and probably what I'll start off with is talking about the game itself. So, yeah, again, um, as for the, for the game itself, right, um, here's what I'll say. If you don't take it seriously, you know, you'll enjoy it, right? I, I tried to kind of take it seriously at first. Um, but then I realized, like, all right, you know, the story is kind of, like, incomprehensible. Like, you know, the characters are just, like, again, you know, specifically the character of Ashley, right? But even, you know, including Andrews, like, you know, it's just, like, there, there's, like, again, it, it, they're not, like, consistent. Like, you know, it's just massive, like, there's zero, like, consistency. Like, their entire character is, like, just inconsistent. Like, especially Ashley, where it's, like there's just zero consistency regarding whatever she is saying, you know, it's just from one thing on to the next, right? There's just no, I guess, overarching, you know, I don't want to say there's no overarching, like, story or, like, lore, because there is. Um, it's more so just these two somehow surviving, but, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just, you know, really kind of uh, incomprehensible. So it's like, if you don't take it seriously, you know, you'll enjoy it. And I will say, once I stopped taking it seriously, I did kind of enjoy it. Um, but again, you know, you, you need to be able to drop that. You you can't, like, treat it like it's some, like, uh, again, you know, serious thing when it's very clearly not. So just throwing that out of the way. But I, I did enjoy it once I did uh, stop kind of taking it seriously. Um, and again, because that's also the point to where, like, ch again, you know, because what was it? Episode 1 was kind of during that period and then episode two especially once we get to that and get some like choices involved and that's where more of the interesting stuff comes about and kind of where you can like kind of i guess like speculate more based on that um again that's where that's what makes up for it versus you know episode one where the i guess you know danger kind of you know where the uh here in the trap lies is that uh again you try to take it like seriously when they're just speaking utter like nonsense so but there's that. So I enjoyed it once I dropped that. Um, again, also, I will say uh, the gameplay was all right. I mean, nothing too crazy, but also not, like, abysmal. Like, um, I felt like the level of, like, puzzles were, like, perfect. Similar to, like, it reminds me of the game uh, not... I mean, going... Okay. It reminds me of the game... What was the game? Uh, Classmates. It reminded me of Classmates, and then Giselle was kind of the prequel, like, to that. But Classmates is what it reminded me of. Um, again, the game very where it's like that puzzle-type game. Um, again, you know, I, I want to say it reminds me of Shut-In, but Shut-In is like, there's like zero logic in that. Like, Shut-In is just you're guessing on things happening. Um, but again, you know, Classmates, it, it reminds me of that. Uh, but again, I guess more of a... Uh, what would you call it, you know, expanded version of that, right? So I, I very much enjoyed it. I felt like the, the like, puzzle aspect of it, you know, was uh, perfect, right? It wasn't too difficult, you know, um, but it also, like, wasn't, like, just... It, it wasn't, like, stupid, like, easy, especially once you get to, like, the dreamscape parts. Like, you do need to think of it for that plot. So it, the gameplay was nice, you know. I, I enjoyed it. It was good there. Um Again, so there's that, right? What else? Uh, I, I like the artwork. I like the design. Granted, the overworld, uh, it, it's a bit weird, like, the overworld. But as for, like, you know, specifically the art for Ashley and Andrew's character, I do like how they drew them. Um, I like the art style for that. 
um, again, you know, as well as uh, we don't really see, uh, you know, dad, right? But mom's character in the game, right? Uh, like, I do like how they made the art. Again, the overworld, their characters are just kind of like gray figures. But like, it's also like, it, it gets the job done. The big thing is I like how they did the art style for the uh, characters, but you know, again, so I like the art, um, again, and what I'm doing is kind of avoiding the elephant in the room, but I think, you know, uh, we need to address that elephant, um, again, you know, I think we're just getting to it, right? So the elephant in the room is this story, right? And particularly events and things that happened in things that are, I guess, you'll also apply to happen. So, Again, so background, again, I'm going to keep being around the bush because I want, you know, the main topic at hand to be the last thing I cover. So, again, let's get into Andrew and Ashley's past. The main kind of, I guess, event or I guess sort of, you know, funny enough, an Amori reference, right? You know, sort of, I guess, the first, like, you know, main event we kind of see is basically a... Uh, at that point, you know, Andy and Lele uh, killing Nina, right? Uh, locking her in a box, uh, leaving her until the morning where she died from her asthma. Um, again, at that point, the reasoning being uh, Lele was possessive over Andy and didn't like that he was getting close with another girl who he saw as prettier than uh, Lele, right? Even though Lele is his sister. Uh, but again, she didn't like that. So again, she forced a choice. And again, you know, locking her in there. Uh, to be fair, I guess Andy didn't anticipate she would die. But again, once that happened, we saw them ultimately, him try to uh, twist, or what would you call it? You know, him, um, you know, I don't want to say twisting, but kind of, you know, uh, nor portraying, but I guess, you know, rationalizing it is choosing her and then them making the blood pact to like never speak of it. Um, that's again, the first main event. And what that tells us is it tells us kind of one of two things. It tells us two things. One, Ashley was like in Lele, right? Oh, always fucked up. She was always mentally unstable, like mentally ill, had that possessive nature as well as, you know, just disregard for the lives of others and pretty much anyone other than Andy at that point. Um, even then, uh, the second thing is that ironically enough on the flip side, Andy wasn't always that way, you know, Andrew, right? He was kind of seemingly the normal one, that one that could have been, I guess, saved and or, you know, he could have been salvaged, right? He was the one that could have, like, made it and, you know, he could have uh, actually turned out normal. But from that point onward, you know, that's something you can't really come back from, right? The point of no return where things started to go downhill and it was a spiral, right? To where, again, he made that blood pact, you know, he gave his kind of oath or twisted it to, like, again, him... I guess, uh, choosing, uh, Ashley, right. Uh, or Lele over anyone else. Um, again, even his own, the person, I guess we had a crush on, but wasn't, you know, didn't, wasn't, I guess with, uh, again. So that's that. And that I can say can be put on their parents. We know at this point, you know, uh, their parents or mom particularly was a teen parent. So she was kind of struggling, um, because, well, well, not a teen parent, but, like, you know, a young 20s, like, early, definitely probably unexpected or unanticipated, you know, parent, right? So not being able to, like, take care of them and particularly, you know, delegating Ashley Lele's care to Andy, right? And, again, kind of just that can kind of be put on them. But, really, this was the point of no return for both of them. But, which was kind of inevitable for Ashley, even though Andy could have kind of, or Andrew could have been saved. But again, we know a few other things happened. We know since then, um, again, you know, uh, he, Andrew actually kind of gets a girlfriend, uh, Julia, right? But, and she even warns him of Ashley, but at the end of the day, they break up, in which I guess is another instance of him supposedly choosing Ashley. Then again, that leads us to the events of the story where basically Andrew and Ashley get shipped off to a quarantine zone, an apartment complex ran by a warden. Um, again, you know, AB blood type supposedly for this infection parasite, but which is seemingly fake and it's more of a cleaning business with, again, we have the, uh, death certificates of, you know, again, both of them, which we found in our parents' house to, uh, again, you know, uh, prove that right again, which again, leads to the events of them breaking out, going, uh, the motel involved with the cults back to their parents, killing them, 
and realizing that, right? So, again, the event's the game. Um, again, interesting story, right? Funny enough, again, you know, I like the whole Omoy reference. Um, but again, right, not exactly where the controversy here lies, right? And this is the elephant in the room that after 10 minutes I probably need to address again. The incestuous undertones. Um, because funny enough, for as many other bad things in the game that happen, right, you know, with uh, cultism, cannibalism, right, you know, murder, like, for as bad as all those other things are, um, incest is the most taboo. And what I'm about to say is going to sound crazy, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm not defending incest, right? Like, it's actually, like, pretty funny because incest is probably the one universal, like, culture taboo. Like, any culture in the world, like, it's, like, chances, take literally any culture in the world most likely and chances are you know incest is a taboo and they're against incest right like 95 plus probably close to like 98 99 percent like of cultures are against that out of in all of existence right like i can't emphasize enough it's pretty much a universal culture taboo like there are very few like cultures that like i guess promote or like allow much less promote it right you know really the only times where it's popular was again during like when, when like royalty try to maintain their bloodline and then they all just die off anyway because they just kill themselves via incest right they just destroy their whole bloodline so like you know i can't defend incest given that it's literally like a universally like bad thing like i can't emphasize that enough like there are very few universal cultural things out there uh a universal cultural is taboo of incest right like incest taboo like again just throwing that out there but it's something to where again i i do find it interesting for as bad of things that happen in the game incest is really kind of the only thing that's talked about and again what in and, and what's kind of interesting for me and comes to my mind is that it's a thing of though it's a thing to where it's like and I don't want to say it's an issue with India as a whole, but it's more so like, all right, you know, uh, it doesn't fit into the typical like, oh, dark nature or, oh, you know, uh, horror, like, you know, oh, like, uh, just sort of uncomfortability, like aspect that some of these other like indie games will be about, right? It's something to where because it's such a blatant offense, you know, even among other blatant offenses, that's where people, like, get riled up over it, right? So, like, people have, again, and what my point being is that people have no problem with, like, murder. People have no problem with cannibalism, right? People have no problem with cultism, right? Like, all of those things are normal things that appear in, even people don't even really have problem with, like, let's say, like, like, let's go back to classmates. People didn't really have an issue with the game classmates. Uh, because, again, you know, at the end of the day, the antagonist is the one who's the creeper, right? You know, and kidnapper. Like, people don't even have a problem with kidnapping, right? You know, but it's, like, all these, like, bad and terrible things that, you know, in real life would be shunned upon. But it's something where all of a sudden, once incest is a topic, right, you know, it's all of a sudden, like, oh, it's this, like, terrible thing, right? And more so probably because I don't want to say it's necessarily because they're the protagonists. Because, you know, I feel like we've been had this discussion of, all right, just because you're a protagonist doesn't mean you're a good person. I mean, we literally, Ashley's nickname is Tarsal, right? You know, but something to where I, I just think it's kind of funny that people now have their, you know, like they have their like, what's the term? You know, they're like panties in a bunch, right? That's, that's definitely not the term and doesn't help my case. But... It's something to where they, they have their, like, you know, people now are, like, uh, again, you know, they're, like, it's only now when people are, like, disgusted or they're, like, oh, this game's, like, too far, right? Or, you know, yada, 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 right? It's, like, I mean, have you not been playing all these other, like, games over the years that touch on these, like, you know, egregious topics? And only now that something, like, again, incest is brought in, it's an issue. Again, you know granted to be fair and because i will say though 
I will say, to be fair, because I was going to give the game a pass because it's like, all right, there was no actual incest involved. Like, it was just incestuous undertones. But then we literally cut to the vision of them having sex, and it's like, all right, you know, whatever. But it is something to where it's like, people are going to make a fuss and say, like, oh, yeah, the game's bad because it has incest, right? But it's like, I mean, what about all these other bad... Again, it's just like... It's a bad thing, but that's why you know it's part of this story. Like all these other things, it's not portraying incest as good because the protagonists are not good people, right? Let's put it that way. They're horrible people. They literally killed someone on, like, even when they were in middle school and then they killed their parents, right? So, like, you know, it's not portraying it as good. And that's the big thing, right? If the game were portraying as good, you know, that'd be a different story. Then it's like, all right, whoa, 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 what's going on here? But it doesn't portray it as good. It just portrays it as a thing that kind of happens and is a byproduct of Ashley's obsessiveness. You know, but the protagonists themselves aren't good, so it's not portraying as a good thing. But people are still going to get angry over it because it's like, on despite the fact that so many other egregious things happen and that people will play so many other games with egregious things again it's just kind of the nature of taboo topics like that but it's also like the nature of people acting self-righteousness towards games you know it's something to where it's like you know play the game right you know and all right you know was it entertaining you know were you disgusted by them you know being disgusting you know all right good good like that's a good thing you know um Again, right? It, it's just something where, like, people take... At the end of the day, people take these things too seriously. And I know that they're going to, like, flame the game for that. But it's also, like, I mean, what about everything else? And it's also, like, it's it's certainly not a good thing, right? You know, it's not being portrayed as good. So I don't see the issue here. But, yeah, you know, I think now touching on that, I can probably end it. Granted, I, I'm curious to see if they actually do continue on with the game and release whatever episode, especially considering how much it blew up. Um, that's my AC unit. That actually does not sound like... Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck that is, but that does not sound like uh, that should be doing that. But again, besides the point, but I, I'm probably going to end it here again. You know, I hate that I have to say this. I don't support incest, but I also don't think, like, this is automatically a bad game because it has it in it, especially if it's not being portrayed as a good thing. You know, it's literally being portrayed as this demented thing because they're, like, terrible people. So it's like, again, you know, what? It, it's the old case of, all right, you know, it, it's like the old argument against Doom being, like, a Christian game. It's like, I mean, you're literally killing demons. Like, you know, it's kind of like, I, I feel, I, ve I view it in a similar light to that, where it's like, oh, you know, it's a bad game because incest's bad. I mean, there aren't good people doing it. Like, again, just, and it's still an entertaining game nonetheless. So, and again, it's just overall people taking these things way too seriously, right? Again, it, which is kind of the issue with indie to where, I mean, take a look at any video essay where, like, Again, it's just the issue of people no longer playing games for entertainment, right? Rather than just, all right, you know, every game has to have this, like, you know, it's like, all right, you know, it has to be this serious thing when it's like, dude, I'm just trying to, like, find some entertainment for a few hours, right? But, like, unwind from work. But anyway, I'm done. I think I said everything I need to. We're coming up on 20 minutes. I don't really have anything else to say on that one. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.